Hi ladies. So this week we're going to be talking about social media. So there is a couple of platforms obviously out there, there's heaps more than a couple, but there's a couple of really main ones that a lot of people focus on. One being Facebook. You know how I feel about Facebook. Uh, a lot of my business comes from Facebook and I feel if you are on that online space then it, there's that massive potential there. Uh, your Facebook business page uh, can be set up very much like a website, so it's a great way to start when you don't have a website. And also, as you'll see from our interview with Agnes, you can use Facebook ads to help you drive more traffic. And you can integrate your MailChimp or your um, different apps with your Facebook page. So Facebook is a massive one. And I feel like it's a really good one if that's where your clients are. The other one that we uh, usually see a lot of people use is Instagram. Now, Instagram is a funny beast and it has been taken over by Facebook. So things are going into more sort of sponsored stuff. But while you still can, the best way to get noticed and um, I guess more views with your Instagram is making sure that there's a common theme amongst your images and also just making sure that the hashtags and things like that that you're using have already got a, a big amount of posts. So if you type in health, it'll come up health and about 11,000, maybe 11 million posts have been tagged with health. So you want to make sure you're tagging it with things that are very, very common and have a lot of posts because it's going to get it a lot more reach. The other one would be Pinterest. Now Pinterest is great when you're putting recipes, smoothies, anything like that. It's a really good way to do it. The other thing you can use it for is blog posting, inspirational quotes, things like that. And the more that you get out there and um, post pictures, the more that you can put your website details, etc. to get you more reach out in the world. Now LinkedIn is the last one I'm going to talk about and it's more for if you have corporate kind of clients. So corporate-y, that sort of specialised more um, field and it can really be used as a great tool as a little mini website as well to tell people what you're doing, to post blogs, that kind of thing. So it is a little bit more different and specified so really make sure your clients are... Um, that it's better, it's ideal for your clients. All right, so that's the session for today. Obviously, watch the interview with Agnes, and then there's also going to be a recording of a webinar that I did last year that just shows you the steps on how to set your Facebook page up. So that will be in the details below. Okay, thank you. Bye.